One of the most hotly debated topics when it comes to electric vehicles is whether or not they're reliable and trustworthy over long periods of time. As a people, we fear change. Many folks, despite modern internal combustion engine vehicles coming with all sorts of problems and breaking down within just a few short years of their production, question the longevity of EVs. New technology and big change is always met with a substantial amount of pushback no matter the field of study. However, nothing quite convinces like hard evidence. There is a small problem though. Mass production EVs are barely over a decade old at this point, so there aren't a lot of examples of modern EVs that have seen hefty extended use. That's not to say there is none. To see how much effect a massive amount of mileage has on an EV, I ventured off to sunny San Diego, California to get behind the wheel of a Tesla Model S with an odometer reading that will even raise the eyebrows of classic Toyota and Honda fans. So, no. The title is not some sort of elaborate clickbait, nor am I about to stutter when I tell you that this 2015 Tesla Model S has 424,000 miles on it. it. Works out to a little over 70,000 miles a year. Now, if you're curious as to how that happened, the original owner of this car was an Uber driver, so this car spent a lot of its time driving for Uber. Go figure, right? I thought I did a lot of damage by putting over 50,000 miles on one of my cars in a single year, but this really takes the cake. Now, you're probably curious as to what effect 424,000 miles has had on a Tesla. Let's talk about it. I know a lot of people are probably interested in the specs of this particular Tesla because, let's face it, 424,000 miles is a lot of miles and I'm sure a lot of people probably think there's some sort of catch. There isn't. This is a 2015 Tesla Model S 70D. So it's not a performance model, but it does have dual motors and the uh, smaller battery. There is a disclaimer involving that battery that I'll get out of the way right now. It was replaced under warranty at around 250,000 miles. It means that the battery we're driving on still has about 180,000 miles on it. So you can't really discredit it entirely. That's a lot of miles. As far as driving goes, it still feels exactly like any other Tesla. You would never know that the mileage it has is the mileage it has unless you look at the odometer or the vehicle info on the uh, big touchscreen in the middle. There are, however, a couple of issues with it, none of them really hindering the ability to drive the car, but right now the driver rear window regulator had an issue and uh, Alex, the owner of the car, actually replaced it, but the replacement one didn't work. So currently the rear window has a small crack in it, it's not sealed all the way, so when you're driving on the highway you get a little bit of wind noise back there that you wouldn't typically expect from a car from 2015, but these kind of things happen. now. Another issue with this Tesla is the screen seems to have this uh, drizzle running down the front of it, if you will, which is apparently a relatively common issue for uh, Model S's of this vintage. It's apparently just the adhesive that holds the actual plastic screen onto the gauge cluster and uh, can be fixed with relative ease as far as I could find, but I don't know for sure. The steering wheel is also a little worse for wear. Somebody's hands have been on it for nearly enough miles to go to the moon and back. I think that's pretty reasonably forgivable and somewhat expected, although Alex does have a replacement steering wheel for it, so you'll never know that that was an issue here in a little bit as well. Otherwise, the interior is remarkably nice for having 424,000 miles on it, especially when you consider that this vehicle was used for Uber. The amount of people that have been in and out of this car is probably an unfathomable number, yet still, both the front and back seats seem to have pretty minor wear and tear, especially when you consider it's used. I've seen Volkswagens, Audis, even Bentleys with seats that look way, way worse than this with way, way fewer miles. As for fanfare, it is a 2015, so it's got unlimited free supercharging. It's got everyone's favorite, the Tesla hands-off autopilot, although I shouldn't say hands-off because you do need to have your hands on, believe it or not. It will yell at you if you don't give the steering wheel minor inputs. It's been bulletproof. It hasn't uh, merged me into traffic or caused an accident, which is you know, pretty favorable when you're using an autopilot system. Still freaks me out a little bit and I'm a little hesitant to trust it, but it's not just because it's this Tesla. I'm a little hesitant to trust it in all Teslas, 
it freaks me out a little bit and I fear change. This Tesla is actually really nicely spec too. I'm sure you're well aware by now, but it's a black interior and black exterior car. Now let's talk about battery range for a second because I know that's a concern of people's as well. For example, take the Nissan Leaf, which is uh, pretty synonymous with having issues as they get older, the battery range plummets to a virtually unusable range. That's not so in the case of Tesla. Like I said, this battery was replaced allegedly at 250,000 miles, but that optimistically puts us at 180,000 miles on this battery. And Alex told me still on a full charge, you get about 180 to 200 miles worth of range, which is only about 40 miles shy of where it started six years and 424,000 miles ago. All the electric stuff still worked. The mirrors, the windows, save for the driver one, climate control, everything's still good. You would not know that this car has 400,000 miles on it unless you looked. A side note here, but this is the longest extended drive I've had with a Tesla before. I did get to drive uh, Jason Fenske from Engineering Explains Model 3. Thanks for letting me drive that, Jason. But I didn't drive it very long, so I didn't really get to experience how aggressive the region braking of a Tesla is. I don't know for sure if this thing is still on the original brake pads that have 424,000 miles, but based on how little I have to use the brake pedal, I wouldn't even be surprised. It's really only when you're coming to a complete stop, but if you just need to slow down, you don't have to use the brake pedal at all. Teslas don't have one foot driving like a lot of EVs do, but this thing is, uh, it's kind of blowing my mind as a uh, internal combustion engine enthusiast. I thought it'd be pretty interesting to interview some Tesla owners and see what they think is a reasonable amount of miles for a Tesla and how many miles they think they'll get out of there. What's your name? My name is Matthew Cullen. Okay, and what's, what's this Tesla we're driving back here? It's a Tesla Model X. What year is it? 2021. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So, do you guys have any concerns about the longevity of a Tesla? Like, any issues or anything like that? How many miles do you think one would last? Oh, I mean, I don't, I don't think there's any concern. Um, that try to take a guess how many miles that car has. Total, um, like how many miles it's driven on the road. I mean, doesn't look like much. It looks like a nice car. Probably say like around 10, 20 thousand. It has 424,000 miles on it. That's crazy. It was used... Okay, and you're telling me the battery hasn't been replaced. The battery was replaced at okay. 250,000 under warranty. Ah, but, see how it's clipped? Yes, my name is David. Nice to meet you. And this is your Tesla Model Y? Yeah, 2021, 2022. Right on, yeah. The new one. Yeah. So, my question is, do you have any concerns about the longevity of it? Like, how many miles it's going to last or anything like yeah, that? That's yeah, that's actually... Before I took delivery, that was my cold feet reason. It was definitely my cold feet reason. Um, and I thought about backing out um, because I drive about 3,000 miles a month for work. Oh, that's really good to know, actually. Yeah, so that was the reason I justified buying it um, because it was just as expensive as my Prius was. Okay. So I was like, okay, this just pencils out. Um, plus I bought it for tax reasons and stuff. Am I worried about the longevity? Absolutely, but I think it's because the jury's still out on it. Right. There's cars that report a million miles right. and stuff like that. So um, I'm willing to take that chance because of the other immediate benefits that I get right. from owning the vehicle. Yeah, so um, that's actually a really good position to put me in for the questions I'm going to ask. Is I, you probably didn't see that black Tesla that I'm driving over I did there. all blacked out? Yeah. Sick. Yeah, try and take a guess how many miles are on that car. It's from 2015. 15? Um, is it the original owner? Uh, it's not. Three hundred thousand. That's a good guess. It's got four hundred twenty-four thousand miles Damn. on it. Original and battery? It's not the original battery. Yeah, that's that's it. the first question I've gotten twice now. Actually, it's uh, it had a warranty replacement battery allegedly at two hundred fifty thousand, which still puts the current battery at one hundred eighty thousand. Warranty doesn't run out. Runs out at one twenty for my car. Yeah, Tesla used to do unlimited mileage uh, AU batteries. So yeah, they they stopped doing that. However. Um, like I said, the current battery's got 120 or 180,000 miles on it, and right now on a full charge, you'll do about 200 miles, where the range started at about 240. So, 180,000 miles to lose 40 miles overall doesn't seem too bad. But uh, no, not at all. Yeah, so uh, you at least can take solace, and there's some that are very high mileage still being driven around. It was originally used for Uber, and uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So you said you drive 3,000 miles a month. That's a uh, 
Yeah, so I'm a real estate agent, okay. and I service uh, Southern California, Orange gotcha. County, Los Angeles, oh, wow. okay. Empire, San Diego. Right. So I am on the road constantly. The, yeah, the five yeah. freeway and the 15 freeway are like home, basically, to me. Well, that's perfect. Uh, hopefully that gives you a little more uh, confidence in it over time. But yeah, nice to meet you. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you too. Have a good one. To make a long story short, there's no definitive answer for if 30 years from now, a Tesla Model S from 2015 is still going to be kicking happily down the streets. But what I can tell you is that a battery in a Tesla Model S can last up to at least 250,000 miles. And assuming there's not too much else going on, the Tesla's can easily push around the 500,000 mile mark thus far. Furthermore, there's actually been some that have been proven to be close to a million miles overseas, so maybe these EVs are a little bit better off than people are giving them credit for. Ultimately, I won't be rushing to sell off my fleet of gas-powered cars and swapping them out for EVs, but I did have a good time behind the wheel of this Tesla. Obviously, the cost of entry associated with EVs is a barrier for many. However, if there's one thing you should learn from this video, it's that whatever your predisposed notion about electric vehicles is, is probably wrong. No, they aren't flawless and as with any developing technology, there's plenty of room for improvement. On the flip side though, they aren't the EVs of yesteryear that took 16 hours to charge enough to drive 35 miles. EV technology has come a long way in the past decade and it's only continuing to accelerate as other manufacturers jump on board. Ultimately, if your best argument is the tired what happens when you get stuck in a winter storm scenario, you should probably dig a little deeper. Thank you so much for tuning into another Motor Biscuit video. My name is Brayden, and I will see you all next time.